Braden's on YouTube also, and he asks about what if he reacts to everything even meets? And this is bad clients like this. It's a, a difficult issue. So he's on carnivore now, which is the ultimate elimination diet, and he still reacts. So he says mm -hmm. he also has mold issues, which I think is the key here, and he feels terrible 24-7. Yeah, for sure. Well, it sounds like, you know, since he's got mold issues, mold can just drive up inflammation throughout the body and create basically like a cytokine storm where there's just massive amounts of inflammatory activity in the body. And that obviously can impact how you're digesting food because digestion itself is a stressful uh, process in the body. And when we're trying to digest and break down food, we are creating waste products as well. And if somebody's already hyper inflamed, Oftentimes eating food, even food that we consider anti-inflammatory can still trigger inflammation in the system. So we've got to get to that root cause factor. And I'm glad that, that he mentioned mold because, yes. you know, that's the first thing that we would, we would go to if he already knows that he's dealing with some, some level of mold, whether it's mold in his home, mold in, you know, his office building where he's working, we have got to address that. So, you know, I would highly encourage him to you know, if it's in his house, leave the house, right? Go in and try to live with somebody else or try to find a place where, you know, it's as mold free as possible and then get that fixed, get that repaired. Um, you know, in some way, obviously this is a, this is a lengthy process, but do the best that you can. Uh, as far as that goes, you know, typically with mold, first thing you got to do is stop any sort of water damage, right? So if there's a leaky faucet or some, some sort of something that's creating like a consistent, um, level of water damage that has to be stopped first for most people. It has stopped, but they just have had water damage and it never got fixed. And then because of that, the drywall and different areas like that have developed the mold and the mycotoxins are leaching out. And if that's the case, if the root cause of it has been addressed and it's just kind of like this mold that's inside of the walls, I would recommend looking at uh, dry fogging. And there's a company called Pure Maintenance. And they have, if you look them up online, I can't remember exactly their site, but if you look up Pure Maintenance Dry Fogging, you'll definitely find them. And they have, um, you know, representatives all over the country, all over the United States. I don't know, you know, how they represent in other countries or Canada or anything like that. But I know in the United States, they're all over the place. And they're getting remarkable results with their, their patented formulas. And basically what they do, I had them over at my house as well, um, is they go in, you leave the house for basically, you know, a day, right? Four, four hours or so. You can come back that night. They come in the morning and they just dry fog it. And of course, you show them any areas that are more suspicious. And they 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 also can look. They've got like a little moisture reader and stuff like that. So they'll look for areas that are more suspicious, spend a little more time in those areas. But the dry fogging technology can really uh, significantly drop mold and mycotoxins. And so then um, they'll test it, you know, they'll look at it uh, afterwards to, to see basically how much they've eliminated. And it is very, very successful. So the only time that they're not able to have success is if there's an ongoing leak or ongoing some area like you have a your roof is leaky or you know something like that where there's continual water damage. But dry fogging can work really, really well. So I would recommend that's kind of the first step that he should take is do that, right? right. And then from there, once he eliminates you know the root cause, um, you know then. Obviously, we can start working with digestion and, and diet and things like that. Right. So I thought of Sears, which is chronic inflammatory response syndrome. And that occurs when uh, certain people are more genetically succept susceptible to um, when they're exposed to certain biotoxins, they have a more difficult time um, getting rid of them in their body. So that can cause a lot of systemic inflammation and a lot of different symptoms. And we have an article on, on drjockers.com that discusses Sears, but he mentions feeling terrible and reacting to a lot of different things. So that's one of the first things I think of. Of course, addressing the biotoxin, like Dr. Jocker said, would be step one. Um, but that would give you some other strategies you can incorporate. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, they're roughly about 24% of the population does not do well at detoxifying biotoxins, right? And so they're, 
you might be living with people that seem to be okay. Not that any of us do very well in household molds, but for some people, obviously it triggers a lot more inflammation than others. Um, and so you may be in that, you know, 24, 25% it sounds like you probably are. So with that said, once you get the, your, 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 you know, your, your residential place or your office or whatever it is that's contaminated, once you get it cleaned up, make sure you get some air purifiers in there as well. Like the air doctor or the enviro cleanse, both of those are good. Um, I know we've got a great article on the air doctor on our website where you can learn more about that. It gives you a, a great discount on it as well. Um, so get that and put that in the different areas where you're spending most of your time, your bedroom, your office, um, wherever you're spending most of the time, make sure you've got a good air purifier in there. That can be really, really helpful. You can also diffuse essential oils. Some of those essential oils, uh, in the air, um, well, really pretty much all essential oils will help to reduce mycotoxins or at least the impact of them. So peppermint, lavender, um, lemon, all the different citrus oils, grapefruit, you know, things like that can be really great. And that provides a healthier environment. And then also get, going outside and getting more fresh air, sunshine, um, going in the woods, doing forest bathing, things like that. That can also be very, very helpful overall, just for your immune system, for calming down inflammation in your system. So that can be extremely helpful too.